Hey guys, good evening. So I'm back here trying something different. I saw this little countdown thingy that it allows me to do. It went by a lot faster <laughs> than I thought. I thought I was going to be able to um, share it out before the little countdown thingy uh, went on, but I wasn't. Hello, welcome. How are you? How is everybody? Welcome to Bill with Tanya live today, we're talking about um, accessing abundance and some of the manifestation uh, blocks that you may be encountering um, or experiencing. You guys give me just a moment. I'm going to share this out with a different platform and we're going to get rocking and rolling. And in the meantime, uh, in the comments, let me know what type of business do you own? How do you serve in the marketplace? How do, do people get to experience your gifts? Put the name of your business um, in the comments. Let me get a little acquainted with you um, on this evening. Uh, number two, uh, if this is not your first time at the rodeo, you've been here before, maybe you're a client or you've just been connected for quite some time, um, I want you to put hashtag renew in the comments. Um, let's see. If this is going to work for us, um, one second, guys. Okay, here we go. It's letting me uh, share it now. So we're talking about accessing abundance. I've been talking about manifesting and accessing abundance uh, for a couple weeks now. I am hosting a 30-day mastermind called She Prospers. And for those who maybe were a little uncertain about what manifesting is and all of the things, I've been intentionally coming on and sharing, except for one particular time, and that just kind of happened. Somebody who had been connected to me was just sharing their experience with manifesting. Um, I've actually been talking about it more intensely over the last maybe three months. I was thinking earlier about, um, you know, how I'm really just walking my journey out with you guys. And um, a lot of it has been accessed through my relationship with God and um, me just really studying deeper about what some things meant, um, especially statements like, as a man thinks um, in his heart and the fact that we are actually renewed um, our lives are transformed by the renewing of our mind. And when I first learned of that, um, let's see. one second, one more second here. When I first learned of that or, or like heard that particular scripture, I was like, I got to figure out what this renewing thing is. You know, what is it that we're doing and what are we renewing our minds back to? that's going to allow our entire lives to be transformed. And the more I began to study, um, I grew a huge fascination with the brain, how it works, how it operates. <clears throat> um, it connected so much to uh, our, our lifestyles, how we were raised and all of the things. And it, it's really been a pivotal part of my transformation um, the success that I've had and continue to have over the years and how it grows and changes and evolves. And so I've been just really sharing, you know, my journey with you all. So, um, you know, maybe earlier on, a lot of everything for me was centered around vision. And um, scriptures in Habakkuk 2, 2, 2, 2, or actually 2 through 3 says, you know, write the vision, make it plain. And if it tarries, it won't tear, you know, so that if someone else reads it, they can run with it so that your vision is so plain, right? What it is that you want and desire is so clear. And you've written that thing out that if someone else was to actually read it, they could follow those instructions and walk that thing out. And so when I began to understand that, I understood just how important it was for us to have a vision for our life. I saw how often uh, scripture talked about, you know, our seeing and without a vision, we perish and all the things. And I feel completely in love with the fact that if we change our mind, we can change our entire life. I am a product 
of that particular situation, I my life has done a 360. Um, some people say 180, but no, I spent all the way around, okay? Um, I was thinking back today, I actually shared a, a post or a, a video of a kingdom entrepreneur who's a Christian artist. And I thought about the type of music and things I listened to before and you know, just how degrading some of the music was and how it was actually, you know, how it would get me hyped for certain scenarios and certain beliefs. And, um, you know, just really relaying a lot of, you know, what I learned in scripture, as well as what I've studied as it relates to the brain back to my life. And I could see exactly how things were transpiring. And, um, you know, so for those of you that used to listen to DMX and Onyx and Biggie and Jigga and all the things, um, for me now, I understand that words are so powerful that even if I like, you know, the beat to those songs, they have a complete different meaning for me now. And I understand also that it affects my vibrations. It affects my frequency. So it also affects what I put out into the world. So everything that you desire in your business and in your life, um, it does not come to you, it comes through you. So it's from the very core being of who you are that you are attracting things into your life. And so tonight, um, I'm gonna ask you guys a third favor. So I ask you guys to put Renew in the comments if you are on. Um, thirdly, I'd love for you guys to hit the share button and share um, the broadcast out with someone else who think to use the message about access and abundance. And we're gonna talk about some things that may be hindering you from actually manifesting or manifesting at the desired rate that you want at, it, at an increased rate um, where it's happening quicker or sooner or faster in your life or where it's not hit or miss, right? Because we're going to talk about that on this evening. So um, I'm going to talk about three specific things that are important with manifesting. So for those of you, I mean, some of y'all going to feel funny because you say about the word manifesting. Um, it is in scripture. Um, I have done an extensive study on it and it means bringing things into fruition, okay? However, because uh, the context of which I studied it through scripture, um, I think of it from more of, <clears throat> not just with what we do naturally on a day-to-day -day basis, but also from a supernatural realm. So I believe that um, there are laws and principles operating all the time, whether we're aware of it or not, that are um, causing or allowing different things to happen in our life. And um, it's kind of like if we are, um, you know, connected for those of us who, who are kingdom believers, you know, when we are really connected with God, for instance, if we are fasting or something of that nature, all of the distractions are gone. We can hear from God. Um, we're moved and unctioned by him even the more. So I, I believe there's a frequency to all of that. And there are a lot of things that keep us out of the vibration of being able to manifest at different levels. And a lot of it is what's going on in today's world and what's going on outside of us. So manifestation is not about all of these external things. It is very much a spiritual internal process um, that, that is happening. And it's happening to us all the time. Whether we know it or not, you are manifesting. I am manifesting. The fact that you are on this particular video is because of everything that you did up until this point till you click play for the video, everything. So um, I believe that we're manifesting all the time. Um, now, you may not like everything that you're manifesting uh, in, in your life, but I believe that um, everything comes through us. And, and at that point, we attract different things in, into our lives. And so there are a couple things that have to happen. Number one, these are some reasons why you're not manifesting or you're not manifesting what you desire or even at a greater rate. So maybe it's taking you 10 years, you know, for something, especially those of you who are believers. I just fully believe um, that God takes our natural with his supernatural 
and causes things to transpire in our lives at a, a different rate. I, I believe it's part of um, the benefits of being a kingdom citizen. Now, uh, there are people who are not saved, who are not believers, who use our same principles that we don't use. <laughs> and, you know, things are happening in their life because they are principles. So if you do the principle, don't matter, you know, um, then the manifestation or the promise happens. That's just what it is. One is diligence makes rich. So imagine if you're a business owner and you're always busy and you're, you know, you always got your hand to the plow and all those things. Imagine if you took that same measure of diligence and applied it to uh, your mindset, because 98% of your success is your mindset. It's a thought or an idea that you had about something, right? So imagine if you put more time into your mindset, do you not think that the wisdom of God will be downloaded to you that will give you um, an easier way? Because he said his blessing is, is not a burden, his yoke is easy, right? Um, so number one thing I feel is a huge hindrance to most people manifesting. Now I'm walking you guys through experience, right? Is because um, you really don't know what you want. You, you don't know what you want. Most people when asked what they want, they say things like, um, I wanna be successful. Or um, I, I remember asking the question, what does it mean to you to level up? And this is no, you know, I'm not picking this person out. I'm just using this particular statement as an example where someone shared it meant up-leveling, uh, it, it meant becoming a better person. So those statements are so vague, right? They're so vague. I want to be successful. Success is uh, definitely, um, it's based on perspective. So everybody's perspective about success is not the same. So imagine you just, um, you speak words into the atmosphere, right? Um, because God says, speak those things. So he's given us power with our tongue. He tells us there's power in our tongue and the spoken word and the things that we're saying. Not only are there natural laws that operate in you know, our world that are in alignment with the words that we're speaking, but there are also internal things that are happening on the inside of us, even at a cellular level, when we not only say words, but we hear words. So when we say things like, you know, I want to be successful, what does that mean? What does that look like? Now, there was a time for me where that was, you know, that was what I would say as well. I want to be successful. But Habakkuk 2 2 says, write the vision, make it plain, right? And the more specific I began to be about what it was that I desired, the more I would see things transpire in my life. Because once we start speaking, uh, opportunities come and all those things. And then now, this is the thing, because opportunities come your way all the time. And many people pass over opportunities regularly because of this very thing. They have not gotten clear on what it is that they really desire. And um, so one of the hindrances to manifesting is clarity on what it is that you want. So I wrote some things down. I woke up about 4 o'clock this morning and just wrote all of these things. <laughs> roll all of these things down as they were coming to me to share with you about, you know, abundance and accessing it and, and manifesting. So um, don't know what you want. So number one, you're not comfortable with receiving. This is all under that one thing. Um, you don't know what you want. You're not comfortable with receiving. Now, many of you are maybe saying, yeah, you know, I am comfortable with receiving, but sometimes people will offer to help you and you'll say, no, never mind, I got it. Um, you may be out somewhere and someone, you know, attempts to help you with something. No, I, I got it. Or for those of you in your business, you your business needs to produce more, but you're not comfortable with receiving. So whenever someone calls you and asks for a price or whatever the case um, may be, you, before they can even ask, you've already discounted the price in your head. You're really not comfortable with receiving. And I find a lot of times for, for us who are believers, there's this um, feeling that we've been made to believe that it's not humble to receive. But the entire process of abundance is um, two things, giving and receiving, and they both have to be operating and in flow and in frequency 
all the time, right? So many of you aren't even comfortable with receiving. So when it comes to thinking about what you really desire, right? Um, if you really, really sat down and thought about what you desire, you always cancel the thought out because you don't feel uh, comfortable with receiving that measure of wealth or um, abundance in any area of your life. So most people don't know what they want. They're uncomfortable with uh, receiving. Now this one right here may hit home a little bit, but hey, it is something I definitely had to do for myself as well, right? Um, what you're desiring, you have to become that. And many of you saying, well, if I become it, if I could become it first, then I would already have it. But no, how this actually works is um, if you're, who would the person who has already manifested whatever it is that you desire, how would you be showing up? How would that person be showing up? I did a post a few weeks ago that um, I said, you're a masterpiece, act as if. So this is one of those scenarios where you would be acting as if not in a way that you are faking it, but in a way of becoming. And it's completely um, and fully different, right? And so uh, in your business, if you're desiring premium offers to you know, come through your business or uh, people to purchase premium items or services in your business, um, is that how you operate? Or is there a part of you, this is where money blocks and things come in, where you're always looking for a deal or a hookup, or there's some space of scarcity or lack thinking. Now I'm going to use my daughter as an example. I'm going to get a little something for this. But earlier I asked her where the leave-in conditioner was, the, the spray kind, right? And um, i would had it earlier, so I probably didn't put it back in her room. I probably just put it in my room. So then she has another kind, which is a cream kind. And I said, well, I'll just use this one. And she had like this real funny look <laughs> on her face. And um, I said, you know, what kind of look is that? And she says, well, that's the one I use all the time. And I immediately said, do they make more of this? Is there plenty of more, plenty more of this out there? Is it possible for you to get more? See, that energy, right, um, is almost a belief that you're going to run out of something, right? And many people operate their entire lives off of that. It's the reason they don't invest. It's the reason they don't um, do what it, what's necessary for their next. Um, even when they're out shopping and doing things, um, they'll ride all the way around town to get the deal, right? and not necessarily the value or the quality. So a lot of times people aren't manifesting <clears throat> because of what they're, what level they're vibrating on, the frequency that they're putting out into the atmosphere, right? So the number one thing is you don't know what you want, you're not comfortable with receiving, and then also the way that you're giving out. Because remember I said giving and receiving is a full circle thing. Number two, and this is huge, right? This gets real practical though. Um, most people aren't manifesting, and let's use a business for example, uh, to the level that they desire. Because when I think about manifesting, I think, of, I think about sustainability, I think about freedom, um, I think about flow. And, you know, most people, did, did I? Yes, I did. Um, so most entrepreneurs and everyday people, even in corporate America, aren't aware of their money. They're not aware of their money. And this is a manifestation block. It really is if money is the thing that you're wanting to manifest more, more money. And here are some reasons why you know people aren't even aware of their money. They have a general idea, but they aren't real clear about their money. Number one, you don't want to face it. You, you don't want to face what is real about your money. And see, when you don't want to face what's real about it, how do you know how to set your real intentions, your true intentions, the things that are really going to bring freedom into your life and your business? How do you really know? Or do you just throw something out there? Is there, like we said, number one, most people don't know what they want. And a, a lot of it, especially for entrepreneurs, is they don't look at their money. They're not aware of their money. That awareness alone begins to change your vibrations. It changes your energy and your frequency, and it allows you to align with something that's actually going to match what you really desire, right? So let's take, for instance, if you offer 
clothes or you sell a product or you know even you're a coach or a consultant and you offer services and you have no idea what your numbers really look like and because you may be busy and maybe it may be coming in in quantity but because you're not aware of your numbers you don't know that it's not really a space of abundance it's really just business right and so many people are wanting something different to manifest but because they're not aware of their money um they can't get in the right vibe for for that level or or that next level they see opportunities they don't even realize are for them right because they're really not for real for real aware of their money so they don't want to face it and number two they need a paradigm shift so i did a video uh the other day talking about a paradigm and the paradigm is your belief about something right um it's how you live it's your beliefs dictate how you live your life right and so there needs to be a paradigm shift about money um when you're wanting to to manifest because as i said we're manifesting all the time right but when you're manifesting what you truly desire what your heart truly desires did you know that most people are afraid to say what they truly 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 desire they don't really think that thing is possible so they settle for what they've already mastered which doesn't take a whole lot of effort to keep doing what you've all always done right but the fulfillment isn't there because they won't fully um answer what's truly in their heart as it relates to uh desire so number two was they aren't aware number three you got to think about what impacts your belief what are some things that impact your belief now if you've been following me any number of years you know i say the five people you spend the most time with is a huge impact on your belief most of you are at the same level 20 percent you either 20 uh thousand up or twenty thousand down income wise um to the five people that you spend the most time with you go back and do the math not that you're sitting around asking your friends how much they make but you if you've been friends long enough you have a general idea you're an average of the five people you spend the most time with and most people are, are unwilling to get in an environment where that number is a little different, where the conversation is different, where the mindset is even different, right? So um, a lot of people can't manifest what they truly desire because they want people to like them. Now we all, we want people to know, like, and trust us. However, realistically, everybody's not going to do that, right? And see, you can't stand for something if you're trying to accommodate everybody. You just can't. You can't manifest to the next level if that's an issue or concern for you. Um, and the third part under what impacts your belief is um, you won't go for bigger. You only go for what you're comfortable with and, and what you've already mastered. Listen, lack of sufficient capital continues to be why small businesses fail. Lack of of uh, sufficient capital lack of sufficient capital continues to be why small businesses fail and that goes back to number two most people aren't, won't look at their money they don't even know what you know vibration they need to get on what frequency do i really need to be on to manifest what what my heart's um desire are but then there are people who success, succeed regardless of what the economy is doing i think that community is one of the things that impacts your belief heavily heavily community impacts your beliefs heavily and so maybe you're saying well i don't know how to get into a community you invest you reach out um you they're not just going to come and pick you right now sometimes um with coaches they feel led they feel some something is perfect for someone that may be a scenario uh but nine times out of ten people at the table aren't just coming to get you right um so so your community is the one of the greatest things guys it was one of the things that impacted me so so greatly i can look at different times in in my career uh especially when i met my mentor that was like that was one of the times I did a complete turnaround, right? My eyes were open and exposed to something completely different, right? That caused me to have new desires, uh, caused me to seek new information. Um, 
it opened up something on the inside of me. And the more I place myself in environments where I'm not the smartest person in the room, uh, the more I grow and also the more I manifest guys. So one of the activities, I'm not gonna go deep into it, that I'm doing inside She Prospers is going to shift the trajectory of your mind, your thinking, your vibe, your frequency, right? Because it's important that you're putting yourself in environments um, that align with what it is that you desire. So accessing abundance, one, is to eliminate some of the manifestation blocks, number one. You don't know what you really desire or you won't give yourself permission to say yes because that thing seems really big. It seems impossible. Um, and most of the time, if it seems impossible, you're probably in the right space. Other than that, you're probably just way too comfortable and you being comfortable is going to yield you the same results, right? Um, but one, not knowing what you desire. Number two, aren't aware of what's really going on with, with your money, right? So that you can get at a different frequency, a different flow or a different vibration that's really necessary for your next so that you're not sabotaging um, every opportunity. Uh, there are times where you know money will flow in and then all of a sudden it's gone again. That's normally because we, we don't have an awareness of our money, which means that we're left in the dark about what we actually be, should, should be doing next. A lot of times we're doing busy work that looks, it can be tricky because it looks like abundance, but it's not, right? Um, and then thirdly, thinking about what impacts your belief. And I believe that community is a huge, huge part of what impacts your belief. Check the five people that you're spending the most time with, the five people you're spending the most time listening to. For those of you who are truly ready to manifest at a different level, you want to learn some natural laws and principles that will help you get in alignment with what it is that you really desire so that you can do it quicker, sooner, faster, and with more ease, and with more ease. Join us inside the She Prospers Believe I Got Smart and uh, made a banner. Listen, it's details up there, but if you've been following me for a while, um, you know my work, uh, you have an idea, a great idea of my value, um, and you've also been impacted by the lives that I share and all of the things that I give on social media. So there's no question or no real doubt um, in your mind. Um, you've seen results from my clients. So that's not the that's not the thing, right? And so this is where you step into, am I putting myself in a position where I'm blocking my manifestation? Remember, we mentioned a couple of things. Um, you don't want to face your money, need a paradigm shift in your beliefs. Um, you're not comfortable with receiving or the opposite, even given, because remember, it's a cyclic thing. They work together. So at this point, if you've been following me for quite some time, it, it shouldn't be a question about how I can help you to grow um, at this stage in your life and your business. But there are a few details there. We're talking about manifesting and mindsets, and you can enroll. Uh, there's a button. You can click, it's real simple. You'll get an email with uh, further details and then um, we'll meet up. The level of shifting, this is gonna change that time frame. It's gonna change your life. That's one promise. And I rarely just promise because people have to do, you know, their own work, right? But I do promise you, if you even just hear, right? Now, definitely if you are, you know, implementing it, applying the, um, there are going to be some fun activities for really shifting your mindset. It's not about marketing and all those things. It's about manifesting and mindset. And I've created some activities that you can do that are going to position you better for what it is that you really desire. But I promise you that even if you simply are there listening, your life is going to change. That's my take on today, accessing abundance. There are manifestation um, blocks, right? How did this register to you? Put it in the comments. Let me know which one of those areas really spoke to you and made you say, hmm, I really need to dive deeper on that or understand that um, at a greater level. I'd love for you to join us. I'd love to support you. 